It's our segment here on Wake Up Central where we continue to answer your questions big and small. Now you might remember the basketball court at UA Little Rock's Jack Stevens Center. It was destroyed from extensive water damage, but just a few days later, players were back on the hardwood. So how in the world did Little Rock replace their court so fast? That's a great question. Just two days before Christmas, Little Rock Athletic Director George Lee knew he had a big problem on his hands when he got a phone call from women's head basketball coach Joe Foley. But Joe's not much for chit-chatting, so I don't get calls for Joe like on the, from, on the weekends and stuff like that. So when I see Joe Foley's name come up, I'm like, something's wrong. And so it's like, George, we've got water all over the court. A fan coil in a unit froze, causing a rupture. That resulted in water running downstairs onto the court for several hours. When I got here, um, you know, I almost joked that open the other doors and we could build an ice rink in here because, you know, there was an inch or two of water on the floor at that point. The Trojans were forced to move their conference opener to Simmons Bank Arena, but were determined to have the Jack Stevens Center ready to go for their January 4th game against Lindenwood. I called our facilities director for the university at that point and said, there's no way that we're ever going to be able to use this court again. So Lee was pointed to a company out of Tennessee, Prater's Flooring, that could actually provide the Trojans with a new floor in a hurry, arriving from Chattanooga in Little Rock on January 2nd. The concrete is dry at that point, so they unloaded all the pallets out here. And then at noon, we had a crew come in and they showed them how to put it together. And within about two and a half hours, the court itself was down. Crazy enough, the Trojans were back on the floor at the Jack on the very same court seen by millions on TV before. Kind of a neat, a neat thing to have a, the court that was on the USS Abraham Lincoln for Armed, Armed Forces Day. So the Trojan men and women have each played two games on that new court now. They're both back in action at home on January 19th. I'm blown away how crazy. fast they were able to put that together. And put it on a truck, literally like a big puzzle piece, <laughs> drove it over from Chattanooga, Tennessee to the Jack Stevens Center. They had a crew teach the other crew how to put it together one by one. They slapped the logos on it. And if you okay. look closely, if you're at the ball game, you can see the outline from when it was used on that aircraft carrier. Oh, it says wow. USS on there. Okay. And it's really, really cool. So yeah, one of the most historic, sort of cool basketball yes. games ever played. And that's not paint, right? Right? That's stickers. Yeah, they like put it. They put it all on there and design it. It's it's unbelievable. They put it the together in like a day. It. It's crazy. Wow. They they got the court in on the second. After all this happened, mm -hmm. they practiced on the third. They had a game on the fourth. Makes you want to go while that is still there. Is oh, it yeah. still there? It's still there. They actually, I think it's due at another place in Texas in <laughs> March. So it's they got to like take it out by like March or something. It's <laughs> rent, rent a court. Buy yeah. some tough. Right? Yeah. It's wild. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, who knew, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we did this segment there you for go. you to educate you. Happy to answer. Yes. <laughs> and that's a good one.